Jamie Lee and today I'll be doing a live reaction to The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, episode 2 titled Gone. Last week it was all from Rick's perspective but this one's going to be an interesting one because it's going to be, well it looks like it's going to be all about Michonne and uh, where she's been gone for the last few years trying to find Rick in that journey to get to that point where we got last week that reuniting state. Well they didn't technically reunite, uh, it was the moment of realisation I guess you could say where they're like oh my god it's you, ah it's really you and that realization sort of sunk in we didn't get the embrace we might get it in this episode who knows or it could be just her perspective of the years that have gone by uh either way i'm excited to watch it but my expectations i'm coming in with none because last week just skyrocketed like how can you top that that was absolutely perfect and until we get that reuniting of rick with the og group you know rick finding out that he's got a son rick reuniting with his brother daryl and the OG group, I don't think anything's going to top that. That was just a perfect episode and I'm just so happy that they started the show so strong like that. Anyway, enough about episode one. Let's get into episode two and have a look from Michonne's perspective. That moment seems so long ago now, huh? He might. He is. She's got hope. I love that she was going back to her OG ways there. You know, with the two zombies with their mouths cut off. <laughs> You know, oh god. Of course. Yeah, Not let us go. So I'm getting my wagon and the rest of my bag and toys too. Can't. So cute. Right. <laughs> VIP with us from now on. That's exactly what she wants. Let me get you a horse. You can have your pick. Now, I think you goddamn Give her her freaking horse. She seems so comfortable and so happy with these people, doesn't she? She's got newfound hope. The subtitles say, shut up. <laughs> that's not what she said. Yeah, that's a migration, all right? So cool. Oh. Well, there goes that plan. What? She's just going to take them all on? <gasps> Ooh. Wow. They made a path for her? Oh, nice. Years gone by. So are they just nomads constantly on the road or something? Constantly moving. So I started burning things. <laughs> Blowing things up in the woods. And my mom, she uh Ooh, here we go, here we go, baby. Horrible, huh? That would be so terrifying. Like not being able to see, not knowing if it's a walker or actual person just struggling. Aww. Oh, look at him. Oh. Oh. Don't go to Rick. Oh, isn't that sad? Oh, she ate him. Oh, they were so nice. And she must feel so bad. Like, she's like, come on, don't stay with this safe tribe. Come out. And look what happened when they did. Oh, poor Michonne. Mmm, we got Madison vibes going on. <laughs> Oxygen tank for life. <laughs> that is so brutal and sad, isn't it? The CRM really aren't messing about. Seasons have gone by. And think of how handy he'll be. Company, good with danger. <laughs> Yeah, they're not very good people. He would have felt his way. He tried. <laughs> That's sad. Oh, here we go. He's not running, he's fighting. Here we go. <laughs> this is what he's wanted his whole life. Look at that. Sean, she's so ready, not knowing what is in there. Just think like like an inch over and Rick could have been gone, you know? All right, so this is how it happened. Just think like that any any of those shots could have been Rick. Like this could have been over before it even began. This is great. What a handy guy to have. <laughs> oh, so brutal. Here we go. Here we go. This is what we wanted. Rick's love story. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, I love it. Oh, 
you've got a son <laughs> like also i have a child oh. oh i didn't do that They're coming. They're coming. Yep. <laughs> They're coming. Oh, it didn't last long. You can't. You've tried for like 10 years, Rick. Is that him? <laughs> Is that him? <laughs> Aww. What are they going to do with him going back then? <gasps> he ain't going back. Oh my god. Oh. That is so sad. Why do they keep doing this? We get these groups, we get these people coming to our Walking Dead world and then they just cut them right out. That is so sad. I'm so happy in this moment because Rick and Michonne are back together, but also so sad. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, that shot alone is so terrifying. They're not going to escape. They cannot escape. <laughs> She's going to mess shit up from inside, isn't she? Oh, she must be so happy but so confused. All right, she's in, baby. She's in. Now they've got to change things from the inside. And how many years is this going to take? How much longer do the OGs need to wait? The OG group. For mom and dad to come home. <laughs> They're just gonna have secret little makeout sessions. <laughs> they really did. Wow. <laughs> I'm so here for this. Oh gosh. No plan of how we're gonna get out. Let's just kiss. Cause you're here. You're here. <laughs> he doesn't have a hand. Oh, he tried, Michonne. Oh, so much to tell him. Could we stop them? No. Could we try? He Could has. Like Rick used to record stuff like this. How many walkers have you killed? It seems like similar process. Hey, like an initiation process. I am so worried about this. Don't you dare. Yeah. Know when the time is right, and that is not the right time. Hi, Rick. <laughs> oh, of course she's going to spring him. It's been a while. You look good. <laughs> she's such a creep. He needs to kill her. Including a few that I like very much. <laughs> Rick, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck? Is that it? Rick, what the fuck are you... That's it? Oh, okay then. All right. I don't think Rick knows what the fuck he's doing, but I think we all know what he should do, and that is get rid of Jadis right here, right now. She is going to cause some ripples in their escape plan, that's for sure. I mean, Michonne was trying to cause some ripples just then as well. She was going to be very dangerous and blow things up from the inside, you know, to get out. But timing it's all about timing and taking those little steps which she clearly you know had that clarity moment in the end but jadis she's always been trouble and you know that she's willing to sacrifice and do things that other people won't do we saw in that episode that the crm are not playing around anyone on the outside they're gone. They will chemical bomb them and things like this. So it does put a lot of fear about our community, our OG community, because the CRM don't care about other people. They really don't. They are protecting the people from the inside and outsiders, if they're leaders and they're gonna, you know, threaten them, they don't want a bar of it. And look how easily that they can take out these communities. It was nothing for them to drop this bomb on these people. They didn't care that this lady was pregnant. They didn't care that she had new life to bring into this world. And they don't care. And I think that's the scariest thing of all. You know, they have the 
military unit they have the technology they have the vehicles and the weapons and they have everything to be in control so everybody else doesn't matter so it's going to be a really interesting next four weeks to see whether rick and michonne try to escape what they try and do to plan to get back to the OG community. But at the moment, things seem very bleak because we did get that episode last week where we saw Rick try to escape five times. We saw how unsuccessful he was in leaving this place. They are so secretive. They are so tight-lipped and secure. I just don't see them getting out anytime soon. So I'm very excited for the next four weeks to see what they do. And if I'm being honest, I would be so happy with the next four weeks of just having their makeout sessions, like these hidden makeout sessions <laughs> between the cars, because that's adorable. So funny. Uh, gotta say, my favorite thing about that episode was them embracing and kissing and her crying, screaming, I found you. Like, <sighs> Man, I'm getting teary just thinking of it. What a moment because, like, she's gone. We saw Rick sacrifice last week. I'm not trying to take that away from him. Rick has sacrificed a lot to get back to his family. Rick has done a lot all throughout the years of The Walking Dead. He's done horrible things and things that would really play with you up here. But in this episode, we got to see Michonne's sacrifice as well. You know, imagine saying to these people who live in this community that is safe and they're protected and everything's going great and saying you know what you should leave aren't you afraid leave you're better than this um to then have them people die right in front of you all because of you it would be something that would definitely be playing on her brain so she sacrificed a lot as well sure she didn't chop off her arm but she has sacrificed a lot and she has been away from her children for a long amount of time, just as much as Rick has. So it was nice to see, uh, not it was nice, I shouldn't put it like that, but when they got bombed, it was really good to see her push through her struggles and to get her strength back, her fitness back, in order to go and find Rick and keep believing. At any point throughout those years, you know, as the seasons, days gone by, years gone by, things like that, as that time went by, she could have easily given up. She could have easily been like, I'm going home. I'm going back to the kids. I'm done. And she didn't. So that's really hopeful um, and shows how much strength that Michonne has just as much as Rick. Like they really are both leaders and they really are strong individuals in this Walking Dead universe. But I just feel so, I had so much hope that they're going to get this reunion. And now that I've had this beautiful moment between them, I just feel so bleak. I'm like, how are they going to escape? Like, it seems like such a challenge. So I'm really interested to see what the next four weeks of The Walking Dead give us. But I am really stumped with the, the fact that they're introducing these new characters and we get to love them and get to know them for them to just be ripped out of our lives, ripped out of our universe. It's really sad. And it's not just this one. Dead City, you know, we got to know that little community that was helping Negan and Maggie out and then they were ripped from us as well. So oh, anyway, the struggles, hey, the struggles of watching The Walking Dead. But yeah, very different paced episode compared to last week's. But in saying that, it was a really good episode too. We really needed that introduction of these new characters and to see Michonne happy and hopeful again. Uh, with strangers. So the fact that she got to love again and find friends in this broken world again was really, really nice. And then as I said, to have them stripped away, it was really upsetting. And it just goes to show how strong of a person she really is. So um, it might have been a slow paced episode, but I definitely think it was an important one. And it was so important to see things from Michonne's point of view, just like we did with Rick's last week. So I am ready for episode three. Bring on the death of Jadis, I say. I want Garbage Lady Gold because she is just going to be a pain in the ass for Rick and Michonne and for the reuniting of our OG group. And I'm sorry if it sounds like I repeat myself every week, but that is what I want. I want Rick and Michonne to be reunited with our OG group. It's just something that my heart needs to have being an OG Walking Dead fan. I just need that moment. I really do. And I understand a lot of people say that, you know, Rick or Michonne might get killed off, especially with the last episode now being titled The Last Time. A lot of fans are speculating that that means it's gonna be the last time that we see one of these two main characters. I have hope. I have the hope that Michonne had in that episode 
episode that she was going to find Rick. I've got that. I'm going to get my reunion with the OG group. I really think Morgan's going to be back on board, see Rick again. It started with them. I wanted it to end with them. And when I say end, I don't want Rick and Michonne to die. I don't want Morgan to die, for God's sake. But I understand that they want to pursue different acting opportunities and they can do that by having the reunion, going back to the OG group and us never seeing that OG group again. Or if they want to, they can pop in and out of like Dead City or even Daryl Dixon, you know, like Carol's swaying off and going into Daryl Dixon. So there's many ways that they can still be a part of the show without dying off in the show. And that is what I'm really hoping for. But we will have to wait and see because what I want isn't always what goes in the Walking Dead world, unfortunately. But that's okay. I'm excited to see what they do with the next four weeks of this show. How are you liking it? Let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of this episode. I thought it was a really great one. Super important to get Michonne's perspective out there. And that reuniting moment, that kiss absolutely perfect i said that about last week's episode but that moment in this episode was just stunning so worth the wait right but yeah let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of this episode and then head on back to my channel next week to watch my episode three reaction as well i can't believe that we are too deep in this already anyway um <laughs> And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel and then head on over to my gaming channel and give me a sub over there as well, please. And the links to all my socials are in the description box. So make sure you head there and give me a sub on all my socials. Give me a follow over there as well, please. All right, sweet as, have a good day. Bye.